Hello, everybody. You know, women don't like to channel surf. You don't like to do what I do because I know it drives you crazy when I just... But I like to surf. <laughs> when I just flip around all the time, constantly. Yep, But you're right. But that's, and you know this, if not for that, you would have missed many, many shows because that's how you find out. If there's so many channels, you can't possibly know what's on unless you do that. So like tonight, I'm doing that and I'm just, you know, I was watching Bulls and Cubs and then I'm just, you know, changing channels, seeing what else is on. And then on Showtime, one of the Showtime channels, there's a Beach Boys documentary playing that I never saw before, uh, uh, The Making of Pet Sounds. And it's fantastic. I caught the last few minutes, then I looked it up, and it's playing again at 4 a.m., so I'll record it at 4 a.m. But I never, uh, it's Brian Wilson going through how he created God Only Knows. I would have missed that. You, we already saw that. No, we didn't. Didn't we see, like, a movie or no, something? No, we saw a theatrical release. <laughs> this is a documentary. Thomas, I changed. I went for a run when I got home. <laughs> He's looking for the Daisy Duke. The, the uh, Catherine Bach. Top. Jessica Simpson. Is that her name? Catherine Bach? Yeah, the top. You look today at work. You, you were dressed. Hi, you yeah. had this thing. It looked like a, you know, a girl uh, who runs around with Burt Reynolds would wear something like that in <laughs> one of those movies. Hi, welcome to the basement, and look, you know, this is backwards, I know, because we, we reverse the image so we can see your comments. I love how Val... Got the, got the bull's hat tonight. Val from Hawaii. What? Tell us what's going on in Hawaii right now. I'll like, tell you what's going wait, on in Hawaii. Oh, wait, are you... Sharks are eating people wait, in Hawaii. Are you in Maui? I forgot. Um, or are you in the Big Island? Um, seriously, was there a shark attack? A couple days ago there was, And yeah. what's the weather like? I don't care about that because I love Hawaii. What's the weather like right now? It must be so nice. It's like those those winds never stop. They're always, oh, I love yeah, the that. the trade winds, the gentle breezes. The trade breezes. winds, yes, yeah. Uh, you can never say enough about quality music, says Brett. That's right. Uh, Val is in Oahu. Oh, how nice. What's the weather like? Is it gorgeous weather? It's Don't the, I look like super pale? And it's the Big Island, right? Don't I look white? No, I like usually today? look white. <laughs> Today I look like really, really, really pale, right? No, I don't think so. Yes, look at it. It looks like, I feel like Morticia. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. A long way to go for a lay. That's very funny. John, I love that. So we, we've got to make this quick tonight because I have to go shopping. Anybody want to meet me at Mariano's? I got to go over there. Yes, you have to go over there before. Oh, look. Because Marianne doesn't have fruit for the shake tomorrow morning. Wait a minute. I just saw... The note from James. James, I think what James wants to know is, did we find out anything about sending the book to Australia? Nothing new on that. We're working. Nothing new. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go, we're we're gonna check it out, uh, we're including give away... including that I'm gonna make sure Bob goes to the post office and checks. We're gonna give away a, a hat from the 16 inch Chicago Softball Hall of Fame. So stand by. We'll tell you how to. You may get that tonight. Ken says, I'm in Edison Park, and we have planes flying over, but I'm bored. What does that mean? <laughs> I, get, I don't know. Thank you for all those happy faces. I think those are happy faces. I don't know. No, those are not happy faces. Um, and hearts, I really love those. Gomez, Adam's family. Hey, yeah, you know, and uh, I don't look like Morticia. We're giving away on the radio show. Hello, A-Train, Aaron. Every week for the next three weeks, we're giving away a trip for two uh, to Mexico, all inclusive, and what you do is you, you listen in, and we tell you when to call, and then uh, if you if you call in, uh, you may be able to uh, qualify. Hi, and, Manny. You'll become eligible for the uh, weekly drawing. So uh, listen to us between ten and noon tomorrow, WLSAM eight ninety or WLSAM.com. That I mean, can we go on that trip? <laughs> no. It's not one of those things where We're not taking a come along, no. a come along trip. No. That sounds really nice to me. A trip to Mexico to help mm -hmm. build the wall. No, Tom, we're not helping to build the wall. Uh, the hat, <laughs> LOL. The hat, yeah. The hat we're giving. Marianne is laughing at the hat. Would you wear this? Would you wear this hat? It's a nice hat. <laughs> People would constantly stop you and say, "What's sixteen-inch softball?" Right? Oh, well, hey, wait a minute. Speaking of that, um, I forgot to mention this last night. The 16 Softball Hall of Fame 
Uh, you can visit uh, memorabilia there in Forest Park at 7600 West Harrison. Ken says, I'd rather have a 16-inch softball shirt. That's what ruined my right shoulder. We'll, uh, we'll, really? be, we'll have more of those mm. to give away, too. Yeah, yeah we You will. know what? I, I didn't hear from uh, last night's winner who was going to tell me the size they wanted and also remind me they want a shirt and remind me of their name and address in the email. Was it to, somebody named in the, Erica? E in the email to Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. If you did send it, send it again. Why would they have to send it again? Because I don't, I, I don't know. Emails, the way that emails work is they don't, like, sometimes work. If somebody <laughs> sends it, it gets there for sure. Did this ever happen to you? Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, this ever happened a, a to you? Bob and Mary Ann shirt. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have some old Fox Should I call shirts. you A-Train or should I call you Aaron? Not, um, not sure what This ever happened to you? You get an email and you know... Oh, check your junk mail, says Lynn. Well, I do. You get an email and then you... Um, you uh, remember, oh, yeah, I got that email yesterday. And then it's gone. It disappears. But then you find it again. You search for it, and it, it shows up. But it, sometimes it disappears. Is that You're the only it? person that has mail that appears and disappears randomly. You're kidding me. The Cubs are only down by two now. They were losing like five to nothing. No, five to two when I was watching because Schwarber hit a homer. And then the Bulls. How what are about the Bulls, Bulls? on they, the loop? They were, um, they were, they were, they were. Playing the Celtics, even. Tell okay, me, tell me what's train. going on there. If you're watching this later and not live, all of this is history. But as we're doing this live on Tuesday night, these are the questions oh, we want. Oh, thank you, answered. Marianne. Um, all right. So wait. So the Bulls are on the loop right now. On radio. Mm -hmm. On radio, but they're on they're TV. On, yeah, on Comcast. On Comcast, so people mm -hmm. can see. Um, mm -hmm. People can watch it, but if they want to hear it, they have to go to the loop. Ninety-seven point nine, mm -hmm. right? That's because the socks are on WLS tonight. So how are the socks doing? Somebody will tell us. I don't know. Socks are in New York. Wait, halftime. They are winning by eight. Who's that? Bulls are winning by eight. Is it the the Kidding. Bulls? Wow. And the Hawks last night went to overtime. They lost. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, James. James, we're gonna check on that Australia mailing thing for you. The Cubbies are coming back. Home run. This is history by the time this gets posted, you know. What do you mean by the time it gets posted? It's live. I We're know, but live. Then, then we post it and people look and then they're going to be bored uh, talking about uh, talking about sports events that are over already. Oh, because we post it on our YouTube channel. Right. By the way, have you checked our YouTube channel lately? The link is right up there. I'm working on a uh, an interesting video for tonight, in fact. Uh, it's really, I should have posted it a long time ago, earlier today, but I was really, really busy. And tomorrow, what are we going to do about this tomorrow? Because we're going to go see a show tomorrow, and we yeah. have to leave pretty early. So I think there probably will not be a Facebook Live tomorrow night. There might be a Facebook Live on our way downtown. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. possibly. What yeah. about this? Do, does any, do, do we, do we, do, do we, is this still around? Are you kidding? Of course. We never talk about it anymore. Because... How many places can we tell people to go at the same time? Well, we got too if many If you things. love our Latin food, go to susosfork.com and subscribe. And once a week or once every couple of weeks, you'll get a recipe from us. Okay, Bob, take that out of there. Wait. And I'm trying to read the messages. Uh, Not to be confused with this. I heard you're very tired of editing videos. Wait, what did he say? We did not ditch Suso's Fork. No, 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 no. No. Are you ADD <laughs> with all the pages? <laughs> you know. Hey, Sox won four to one. I think that means that <laughs> the game on radio, the Bulls, no, the, that the Bulls are on WLS radio now because the Sox game is over. The messages are coming by too fast, and I swear there is no way that I can scroll back, at least not while we're live. There's no way to do it. I wish uh, I could. Socks. And white James socks, keeps saying socks. something. Hola, Juan. How are you? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Socks, red or white? What do you think, I Tom? Answered that white. Already. Okay, I wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What else do we need to discuss? What else is going on? What are people talking about tonight? What do we need Suso's to know? Suso's fork at PJ Chang's. I don't get it, but. Uh, PJ? You mean PF Chang's? 
I don't, this is, I'm reading what it says here. Maybe P.F. Chang's, yeah. Um, Michael, you would like to help out with the editing? You want to edit like six hours a day? Because that's what I'm doing. Sometimes it's eight. Today, I had things to do, and then I started editing late, and I'm still not done with the little piece that I'm going to post under the category called, What the? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I can't keep this pace up. We need to hire somebody, we're, or we need an intern. We need, we're going to but we need to be we need, making oh, we need money. to have a life too. Wait, we here's may? an idea. Try uploading your videos every second day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, I would. That's a really good idea. Like not doing it every single day. But here's the problem. Like a lot of what we are posting on a daily basis, it's because it's happening that day. So if people are going to go on YouTube and look <laughs> Joey for something. Laundry. And look for something. <laughs> Is that a good thing? If people are going to go on YouTube and look for something, it has to be timely. So, for example, the video that we're going to post is about stuff that people would be Googling today or would be, you know, trying to find on YouTube. So, that's the problem is that, first of all, the biggest problem is that it's too late. But I'm still going to post it because I was working on it, you know, all day. But if I had a staff, that would be awesome because... All I would have to worry about is shooting it, and uh -huh. then somebody else would be editing it, and then I could be doing everything else that I have to do. So Any volunteers? Any volunteers. <laughs> Poor does, us. Does your intern have to move in with you guys? Well, I have an intern, but it's a medical intern. <laughs> I edit my son's race car videos. It takes forever. Then rendering them takes hours. You need more updated equipment. <laughs> what are you using? I'm using Premiere Pro. It's an Adobe product. Rendering, it doesn't take that long. And these videos, they're like five minutes, ten minutes long at the most, usually. They're not that long, but they're labor intensive. It does take forever. And then, I, does this happen to anybody else? I swear, lately, because I've been sitting down editing so much, mm -hmm. and because I'm a super active person, mm -hmm. my butt hurts. It's like my butt hurts from sitting. I mean, massage does, it. <laughs> does anybody else have this problem yeah, ever? Where, where Stop it. it. Right there? Stop it. But um, <laughs> I, I can't stand it. It's, I cannot be sitting. So then I'll stand up and I'll try to edit standing up, but there's no way you can do that. You have to, keep sometimes I just want to, yeah, you got to keep moving. Sometimes then I'll, I'll go on my knees. I mean, it is ridiculous. I can't be sitting around doing this. Me, says Ken. Chair pad. I don't want a chair pad. Careful, you don't need hemorrhoids. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't have that. Joyce okay. get a pill. Wal Walgreens donut. <laughs> <laughs> you know what those are, right? Yeah. It's I called... What what, it, I, I think it's called like a, a sits bath is what it's called, I think. Because I remember that from pregnancy from mm -hmm. delivering a baby. Mm -hmm. uh, can you use your phone or an iPad? For what? No, I edit on my 27-inch Apple I, iMac. I, that's what I edit on. And it's I, very I, comfortable. Hi, Joy. My relatives from California are checking in. Oh, really? Hi, Joy. Mm -hmm. I didn't see her name. It's going by too fast. Oh, we'll, we'll look later. Later we look at comments. Apple fears sometimes PC. Sometimes we reply to comments. So, Get an ergo stand-up workstation. Yes, I should do that. But instead of getting an ergo stand-up workstation, I would like to get a video editor. Thank you, Trish. That would be so much better. We, thank you. Uh, we, we thank take, you, Trisha. We take, uh, what do we take? Natrin, Natrin Genucel. And, and we apply uh, Genucel. What, what else? We bathe in Genucel. <laughs> oh, and... Uh, no, but that, seriously, that Natrin. I love that stuff. <laughs> I love it, and I don't let him uh, leave I'll the house you, without it, or so my daughter. I'm very embarrassing about that after we thank AMS Limousine, AMMS, because if you want to go somewhere, as a matter of fact, we're in the basement. When I go upstairs, I call AMS to take me there. That's how great they are get, getting you from point A to point B. They have a B. device tremendous, that latches onto our Tremendous drivers, staircase. Yeah. Uh, economical, <laughs> and always on time and prompt. Let me tell you this terrible embarrassing story and people are always asking Bob me. does not people wear makeup people people 
No, well, on TV I do. People always, that's why I look pale and you look great all the time. But people always stop I'm me on the street. People always <laughs> stop me much. on the street and they say, first they say, Larry, we love your animal stories. And then they ask me, what's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? And basically, something uh, embarrassing happens to me every week. And this is what happened last week. We have the commercial for uh, Natron Healthy Trinity. And for some reason, and we didn't have the Hi, David. paperwork. I didn't have the copy of the commercial in front of me, all of it. So I, I saw Natron, and I was trying to remember what they call it. And instead of saying Healthy Trinity, I, say, I called it Natron <laughs> Holy Trinity, which I think is not a bad name when you think about it. But... And the people were very upset with me. They were not oh, upset. The sales manager was no. very irritated with me. But it, it reminds me of something that, uh, God bless him, uh, I still miss him. Jim Stagg, the great disc jockey. Excuse me, on. one second. Lynn, I am so glad you reminded me of that. Lynn is now hooked on those Justin's peanut butter um, cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I would kill for one right now. And by that, I mean Bob should go. I know that they sell them at Whole Foods and Starbucks. He should go get me one right now if he knows what's good for him. I've been working, <laughs> and I need one of those. I, I haven't ordered those. Okay, go ahead. I love Jim Stagg, and uh, he worked for WCFL, among other stations. And uh, years ago, one time when Jim Stagg was working for WMAQ Radio. Excuse me one second. I'm so sorry. I'll never wait, tell this story. wait. James says, get Mark Zuckerberg to edit your videos. Ha ha, yeah. You're on his invention Facebook. What does that mean? What's We're on his invention Facebook? What we're does that mean? his invention. Facebook. That's his oh, invention. Oh, on his invention, comma, Facebook. Okay. Not, and I'm, I'm All not, right, go I, ahead. No, I'm not going to tell okay. the story now. No. Once I'm in, if I'm in a Make a cheesy twice, commer infomercial to get interns she to edit She doesn't even care videos. about my story. Yes, do you, I do. Do you care about my story? Go ahead, finish, because you're talking to our friends, so not to me. So, Jim Stagg, WMAQ Radio, when it existed, he's doing a show, and he's got a commercial he has to read for Magicist uh, Drapery Cleaning. Magicist? Magicist? Yeah, it, it used to be a big carpet uh, cleaning company, but they also clean drapery. So, the commercial said Magicist Drapery Cleaning, and Jim read the commercial Magicist Diaper Cleaning. So that was almost as bad Magicus, as calling oh, nature, diaper, oh, nature that's so and fun. Whole, uh, healthy trinity, nature and holy trinity. So I don't feel so bad now. All right, let's uh, let's give away the hat. How can people uh, get a free hat sent to them? What do Janice they have to do? thinks that you never get to finish your stories. You are wrong, Janice. What do, what do they have to do because for the hat? Because he always finishes his stories. I always whether remember it's where I've left off. Or later, he remembers where he's left off. Me, on the other hand... If you so much as, I don't know, distract me in any way, I have forgotten forever How what I was, what I was going to say. How free hat? Okay. Yeah, okay. Magicus. Remember that big Magicus sign? Uh, Let's remind see me, how we're doing remind me another on time, our YouTube channel. Remind me another time to tell you my story about the Magicus sign, okay? For another You night. can tell that story. No, I don't want to tell tonight, but okay. I want to give away the hat. And then I have to go to Mariano's because you won't have oh. any fruit for your... Healthy shit tomorrow have the if Justin's, I don't. Do they have the no. Justin's peanut butter? No. Go to Whole Foods then. No, I'm not going to Whole Foods tonight. <laughs> I how, would kill how can for people one of those. win the hat? Okay, first, as you know, it's going to involve our YouTube Remind channel. Remind me about the sign. Because, not tonight. hang on, no. because we want all of you to go to our YouTube channel called Surat and Merciano. The link is right up there. Mm -hmm. And all you need, I think you need to have a Gmail account. No, they don't need that, Bob. Okay. The, the link is right above us. Um, I think you need a Gmail account in order to have a <laughs> people. Are, this is like crazy. It's too many things. people win the hat? Come on. Hang on one second. So um, <laughs> it would be great if you subscribed to our YouTube channel and look at our videos. I'm going to be posting one tonight. So this, this is going to be posted, but I'm also posting the one that we did earlier today. And it's got that commercial in it that is such the most clever commercial that I've seen. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but you'll see it in there. And um, anyway, it helps us a lot if you subscribe and if you tell your friends and if you watch the videos and you make comments and you like them if you like them, hit like if you like them, and then hit the red subscribe button. It helps us a lot. Um, but uh, so the contest is always involving something about that. So I'm going to let you look at the page because 
you uh, <laughs> because you like to make me do all the work <laughs> so I'm gonna let you do the work okay so you you decide what you want the contest to be how about that and this is only a partial. It has to be something look. involving our YouTube channel. Yes, it's got to be something involving our YouTube channel. Maybe this. That's a good idea. Because. But that changes. Well, it might change, but it hasn't changed yet. No, let's not do that. You don't want to do that. Amuse yourselves for a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> um, how about? Oh, I know. I know. Look, I got... See, here's the thing. When you go to the channel, and there are all these little pictures called thumbnails, and things are written under them, but above all those little pictures, there's a, a bigger picture of the two of us with a heart, and then it says something. And what it says is actually also the name of a television show. First person to tell me what that is, what that line is... Don't tell him. Write it down. Yeah. Post it as a comment. <laughs> First person to do that, we'll send you the hat. Okay? Uh, thanks, Lynn. That Thank you very much, Lynn, about your nephew wanting to um, help us. I think that your nephew is probably too busy um, if he's doing all this stuff for the Cubs, don't you think? I mean, Alan, anyway. Alan, Alan won. Wait, where? Alan won. Where? I don't Alan, see it here. Alan, Alan won. Oh, no. Alan won. No, I think it's Brian. No. Did Brian do come up with that before Alan? And Where's Alan? And Brian, if you won in the last 30 days, can't win more than once in 30 days. Wait a minute. I, I, I'm... We'll check. Okay, so wait. How are we going to check? We don't even know. Okay. We'll, we'll look at the comments. And whoever posted This Is Us first... Well, is the winner because that, right. that's what I, that's the line so, I was looking for. This is us. Two people answered, or more than two people, but, but the first two. The were, first one. The first two were uh, Alan and also uh, who? I saw Brian when I looked down. All right, but, whose see, comment was it's, first? It's weird we'll be able to see it. It's all right. Yeah, we'll be able to see it. Alan. Theory about March I think Madness Alan, causes Alan, people to apologize. I think maybe. Alan did first. Yeah. Oh, Alan. Alan, Alan, Alan says first. me. Okay. Alan. Alan deserves that. Alan, write me an email. Put your <laughs> name and address in there so I can send you the hat. Remind me that you won the hat. And send that to Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. Congratulations and thank you. Tell him exactly what you won, okay? Because... Well, a hat. Just say it's the hat and I'll know. Say, like, the white 16-inch softball hat. Because... The People is, are fighting about who won. <laughs> because the thing, because Bob, we don't want this to like end up in Australia. You know what I mean? <laughs> Congratulations, Alan. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brian says let Alan have it. I'm waiting for the Mr. T voice box. Uh, we'll, we'll give Did you win it? Those. Did you win it? No. Everybody's telling us that it was Alan. Look, let me tell you something. Anybody who has not received their prize yet, <laughs> send me another email. No. Remind this me. This is ridiculous. Remind me what you won. No. And Bob. send your contact information okay. to Bob and Marianne at WLSAM.com. And the reason have, would be we don't because. We have a regular producer yet, so I've got to do this busy work. Yes. The reason is because sometimes emails don't go through. <laughs> they disappear. <laughs> They don't no, I go see them through. And then they disappear. I've never heard of anybody <laughs> having emails that don't go through. It's ridiculous. All right. Okay, wait. Is somebody writing? We gotta go now. Is somebody writing a uh, an address? The, uh, don't write any addresses here. Yeah, don't here. don't write any addresses Email here. Email Bob and Marianne at WLSAM .com. Please uh, tell uh, <laughs> a thousand of your close friends that we're on the radio between ten and noon on uh, AM eight ninety. Okay. And. Please, right up there, go to our YouTube page. Check it out. Tell us what you think. Tell us if maybe you have ideas that we haven't come up with yet. All right. Glad the Sox won. I hope the Blackhawks come back from the dead. Oh. And well, you, I hope the Bulls uh, continue to play well and the Cubs keep coming back. I think we've covered everything. You'll yet. have to see the video that we're going to post a little later tonight. There's this great piece, on that uh, that video that was released today, of uh, Prince William and Lady Gaga.
We have a little clip of it in there. It's so cute. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can stop bothering you. Okay. Have a good night. Right. Bye. See you, Mariano.